Welcome to section 4.2.3, solving systems of equations, linear equations, algebraically, using the equal values method. Those of you using another text may recognize it as basically the substitution method with just a little bit of a twist to it that, that I think is really a, a nice way to do this. Um, we're going to start out, on this problem they give us a bunny and a cat problem. There's these two animals, and like any of these problems, if you have access to the text, I would suggest that you read the problems and try to do it before watching the video, um, just to get a feel and give some good attempt with yourselves and talk to other people about it. Anyway, we, um, we're going to start with this story. Barbara has a bunny that weighs 5 pounds and gains 3 pounds per year, and her cat weighs 19 pounds and gains 1 pound per year. When will the bunny and the cat weigh the same? Well, it seems to me that we're going to keep track of the number of years, and as we do the years, it's going to tell us the weight. For example, Barbara's cat, I'm sorry, her bunny started out at zero pounds, I'm not sorry, zero pounds, at zero years, weighed five pounds, and at year zero, weighed 19 for the cat. Okay, the bunny is going up by three, so that's going to mean he's going to go up to 8 after a year and the cat is going up by 1 so he's going to be 20. I've gone ahead and shown you here that I've gone up. I'm going to finish the cat one a little bit because I don't have a place in this where I see them being the same yet. So hopefully 3, 22, 4, 23, 5, 24, 6, 25, 7, 26, 8, 27. Looks to me like we're going to be the same when they're 7, 26. So in other words, when the bunny is 7, when both of them are 7 years from now, they will both weigh 26 pounds. That's when they will weigh the same. In the graph, that's where I find it. I'm going to go ahead and write a rule because this is a really easy one to write a rule. What did we start at? We started at 5. So I'm going to say that the growth, not the growth, but the starting point part of the rule is going to be plus 5. What was the rate of change? Well, for every year, we were going up 3. So the rule is y equals 3x plus 5. This one, we started at 19. And we're going up each year by a rate of 1. So there are my two rules. I'm going to solve it because they want me to, like yesterday, by graphing. And so I'm just going to see if I can find the right colors because I'm going to do one rule in red and one in green so we can see it. I've already chosen my scale as 1 just to make life easy and the numbers weren't that big. So let's see, 5 is my starting point. I go over 1 and up, over 1 and up, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to stair step over 1, up 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Over one up, one, two, three. Okay. I'll write down what my rule is y equals 3x plus 5, because we've talked about complete graphs and wanting to do a good job. My other rule is y equals 1x plus 19, so it's going to start at 19, 16, 17, 18, 19, and the rate is going up by 1. So I go over 1 and up 1, over 1 and up 1, over 1 and up 1, over 1 and up 1. I'm going to do this, and you're going to see something. That I hadn't planned on you seeing, but uh, will be good to see anyway. We knew from the table that they're going to meet at 7 weeks and 26. That would be right... Um, here the graph. But I've let my red line be just a little bit off 
So it, it doesn't look like that's where they meet. It looks like they're going to meet up here. Once again, graphing is kind of an estimate. And uh, I know that if I were seeing this, I would probably check the rules with the numbers here before doing that exact number in the middle because that's a kind of a clue that I might be off a little bit. So I would have done something like thrown in the numbers, let's see, 726, let's see, 26 equals 3 times 7 plus 5, and that works, so 26 equals 26, and I would have tried it in the other one, 26 equals 3, I'm sorry, 1 times 7 plus 19, and 26 does equal that. And so it does appear that that is the actual answer, that the y is 26 um, and the x is 7. Now, we told you we were going to use a new method, and that is what we are going to do. In the new method, we're going to take these two equations, the ones we had before, and they wrote them backwards in the book. I'm not exactly sure why. And we're going to notice that they both equal y. I like to write it this way sometimes. 5 plus 3x equals y, and y equals 19 plus x. We know that this is where we want these two y's to be equal to each other. You can't always say that, but if it's what you're looking for is where they're equal, you put the equal sign between it. And we can kind of shorten this and just pull these two pieces together. 5 plus 3x equals 19 plus x. And we can go ahead by pulling just these parts together and use the regular solving equation steps that we would normally use. I'm going to get my x's over here. I'm going to get my numbers over here. See, how do I get an x off this side of 1x? By subtracting it. So when I move it over here, it becomes a negative 1x. I'm going to put that here so I can see what happens. And how do I get this 5 over here? Opposite of a positive 5 is a negative 5. That's going to be 0. And that's going to be equal to 0. So let's see what this gives us. 3 minus 1 is 2x is equal to um, 14. Divide both sides by the number on the x, 2. Because I've got two x's, I want to know what 1x is. x is going to equal 7. Remember in the uh, chart, we found that they were the same when x equaled 7. So rather than having to guess and check this entire time about which value I need to use for x, this lets me know which value I need to use for x. It hasn't told me the y, but it does tell me what the x value is. So to find the x, the y value, all I have to do is plug it back into one of my original expressions. I'm going to use this one. And the value I need to put in for x is 7. And I'm going to get y equals 5 plus 21. So y miss, must be 26. Okay? And that is what we got when we did the table and we did the graph. And so I'm going to write my answer. And this is the most common way to write the answer, to write it as a point. The x value for the point, and usually you don't write that x above it, but the x value for the point was 7. And the y value was 26. So I know that these are going to cross at 7 comma 26 and I also know that x equals 7 and y equals 26. Well I hope this helps. We're going to do one more example in uh, part 2 and uh, it's basically going to give you just one more chance to look at this. Good luck.